everyone to the Merrill Hurst University webinar where we will review the hospitality management bachelor's degree program in reference to the growing hospitality management industry. During today's presentation, you will enjoy hearing from the hospitality management program director, John Erickson, as well as Jackie Begaman and Laura Sakura, who are our admissions counselors. My name is Liz Lehman. I'm a Merrill Hurst staff representative, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. We'll begin our conversation today with a program overview. We'll then discuss the financial investment resources available to you as a Merrill Hurst student and take a look at the admission requirements and the application process. We'll also discuss the growing industry and executive interest in Merrill Hurst specific hospitality management program. Now I know many of you are joining us on the webinar today with individual specific questions in mind. So we've reserved the second half of today's presentation to hear those. Go ahead and save the questions until the end. We'll provide a comment box where you can type them in and we'll address them one by one. For your convenience, we're also recording this webinar. So there's no need to copy down the content on each screen. Following today's presentation, you'll receive an email with a copy of each slide. I'm gonna to turn to John Erickson, the Hospitality Management Program Director now. And John, would you mind getting us started by introducing the degree and highlighting some of the sought-after benefits of the program. We've done a lot to really uh, bring people on board that can give us some insight and their understanding of what's needed in the industry today. Um, we are an accredited school uh, in the School of Business, so uh, we combine and marry the business curriculum for hospitality into the hospitality management degree program but we really focus on what business uh, can give to the hospitality manager. Uh, the basis of business is always uh, important, but how do you use that in making your decisions and understanding how to manage the business within hospitality? And again, it goes across hotels, restaurants, destination marketing organizations, um, uh, meeting planning, convention planning, clubs, uh, resorts, uh, the, the entire spectrum of the hospitality industry. Uh, we're delivering this 100% online so that you can really plan out your time and do not have to take away from your uh, business schedule to ensure that you can complete your degree. So you can schedule yourself accordingly. Uh, it's a full or part-time uh, opportunity for you. Uh, the degree program is a full uh, 60 credit major, and we'll go into that uh, a little bit uh, more, but the, we start this fall with our introductory class, which is the introduction to hospitality management. Uh, there's a few people out there that probably have their associate's degree that have an introduction to hospitality, which is the basics of hospitality, but the hospitality management really focuses on what do you need today to manage a property or an organization? Uh, or what do you need in the future to make sure that you could run your own business within the hospitality industry? So it's learn today and use tomorrow so that if you're a supervisor, you're going to gain that insight to ensure that you can step up your game and can plan to become a manager as far as you would like to go in the industry. And our program is supported by a hospitality management advisory council. Um, let's take a closer look at who those who makes up that advisory council and highlight some of the members and how students can expect to work with them. Uh, as you can see, we've got Chris Debo, who is the regional manager with Providence Hotels, who's a graduate of, I believe, Arizona State. Uh, Jason Brand is uh, Oregon Restaurant Lodging Association. Then we have Scott Crookshank, who's the general manager for the visitor venues of Metro, which means all of uh, Portland for their convention center, their theaters, anything to do with visitor venues. Scott comes uh, with a great background in hospitality starting in the food and beverage industry, and then uh, all the way through managing properties, uh, uh, 
a matter of fact, he and I both managed the same property. He was the first uh, GM up there at the resort of the mountain, and I was the last. <laughs> so uh, uh, another uh, connection there, Scott and I went to the same high school, just 10 years apart. Wow. <laughs> John Freitag is the senior vice president at Smith Travel Research, which is the international analytics company that really provides insight for hotel managers and destination marketing organizations to understand all that is going on within the industry, both with their individual properties, their competitors, as well as the marketplace. Um, you can see a, a few of the others. Scott Youngblood is the general manager of the Embassy Suites here at Washington Square. He also sits on the uh, uh, Travel Oregon um, Tourism uh, Board. So he uh, works directly um, with the state on uh, ensuring that we have travelers coming to the state. Uh, Mark Swenson is uh, with Bon Appetit. He might be director of purchasing now, but he has been in operations and delivery of service for many years. So we've got some great people involved in this program. Yeah, we're, we're proud to have them a part of it. And um, can you tell us a little bit about why these executives were eager to support our program? Well, we started talking about this uh, a few years ago, and luckily I, I know each of these people uh, very well. Uh, we've gotten to, to know each other over the, uh, the years in the industry. We all saw the need to really develop our future leaders within the industry. The challenges that everybody has today in management is much different than it was 10, 15 years ago. Uh, we all see the need to understand true strategic planning, understanding application of theory, not just having the theory of management. Uh, again, use today, I mean, uh, learn today and use tomorrow is so important. So we've developed that curriculum focusing on understanding theory so that you can apply it in your strategic planning, your budgeting, forecasting, human resource, uh, asset management. Uh, all the different things that a manager needs to understand today, and they've all helped us look at the curriculum and build the curriculum to really present a robust understanding of management. Great. We're excited to have their participation. So for our attendees today that are imagining themselves in this program and assessing the impact it will have on their career, it might be helpful for them to hear about the students who have already applied and enrolled in the program. John, do you want to tell us a little bit about the experience, perspective, and actually the goals of these hospitality management students? Well, the students are involved in the industry today, either as supervisory or director, and I know we have a couple of people interested right at the GM position because they are in smaller properties, but they want to advance themselves into larger properties, do not have their full degree. Uh, we all know in the industry that you can go a certain distance in your career without a degree, but without it in the future, it's going to be difficult to really gain those advancements. Uh, most of the, uh, the students are full-time employees, um, some of them working more than one job. Uh, so they see what they would like to do within the industry. This is their profession, and some are looking at, should I open my own business, a restaurant, or should I offer a tour service or uh, just exactly what they would like to do in the future? So the great thing about this program, uh, incorporating our advisory council, is you will have the chance to meet these individuals, to network uh, not only online with your instructors, but we will uh, offer some networking opportunities uh, on the ground, on campus, possibly in different hotels, restaurants around the, the area. If you're not living in the, in the uh, Oregon area, uh, we're going to get the same type of thing online. So uh, networking within the industry is so important. Uh, without knowing other people within other organizations, sometimes it's difficult to have that feedback coming to help you make some management decisions. I know it's helped me over the years. So when considering a bachelor's degree, our attendees also must factor in the financial resources available to them. Jackie uh, Begaman, our admissions counselor, I'm going to ask her to speak to the financial benefits available exclusively to Railroad Hospitality Management students. 
Sure. Thanks, Liz. Uh, so at Merrillhurst, our tuition, we are very happy to say, has held steady over the last couple of years. Um, so we're still at a tuition rate of $463 per credit. And all of our courses are four quarter hour credits each. Uh, we are also, with our travel, our advisory board, excited to offer two different scholarships um, that have been established just for Merrillhurst students for our hospitality management program. They are through Travel Portland and the Provenance Hotel. In addition to those program specific scholarships, there are also Merrillhurst specific scholarships that are available to uh, students that apply to Merrillhurst. Um, many companies also offer scholarship, uh, not necessarily scholarship help, but tuition reimbursement help for their employees. So I do encourage everyone to check in with your HR department and find out if that's something that your company offers. In addition to scholarships and potential um, tuition reimbursement through your company, the federal financial aid program also offers student loans as well as uh, possible grants, depending on um, what you qualify for. Um, we also have a full financial aid department with financial aid advisors that can help you through that process. And we can connect you with those folks um, to, if you have specific questions um, that are a little outside of our general overview here. So students began their experience at Merrillhurst with very amount of experience and uh, previous college coursework under their belt. Merrillhurst is designed to help them make the most of that experience. Um, let's take a look at the thematic focus areas of the program, opportunities available to um, pull in those credits you may already have uh, to reach that 180 uh, credit count for the hospitality management degree. Um, Jackie, do you want to speak to some of the core requirements for the major? Sure. As Liz said, the uh, total degree is 180 credits, quarter credits. And John mentioned earlier that the major is 60 credits. So to get to that 180, you have your major and then what we call the Merrillhurst core. You might be more familiar with um, from a previous school as general education credit. And that is 32 quarter hour credit. And then you have general electives that total 88 credit. So between the three, that gets you to your total for, of 180. And we can help you um, determine where things go and what you might have left to complete in order to earn your bachelor's degree in hospitality management here. We also have um, a prior learning assessment for folks that um, maybe you have less college experience and a lot of um, on-the-job experience. Um, this is a great program that can help you earn your college level um, credit and uh, honor that learning that you've achieved on the job and give you that academic um, standing with that. It's a great way to um, save some money as well as um, speed up your pathway along the degree. So many of our students um, are working full time. They come in and I always tell students to look at, look at um, a college class. And if you pull that class apart, you get the learning, you get the grade for how well you did, you get the credit for, for taking the class. But so many of our students who are working actually come in with the learning already, they just don't have the credit. So the prior learning is an opportunity to document that learning and show that you already have that learning for college credits. And so when a student wants to make a step forward and, and, and look at that option, uh, Jackie and I are happy to talk with you about that process. It's, it's, it's quite exciting to honor the stuff that you've already done quite a reduced fee, uh, fee amount also. And you can earn up to how many credits? 45, you can earn up to 45 
college credits through prior learning. And then there's also other ways that prior learning is not just um, writing, writing and documenting, but it's also with credit by exams, there's different ways to earn college credits. So I would definitely uh, encourage you to explore that with us. And John, students often want to know a little bit more about the hospitality management core. Are they simply right. studying marketing and finance and human resources, or are a lot of is the curriculum focused on uh, instances and experience rooted in the hospitality management industry? Right. The management program really uh, has case studies focused really on the industry, not just hotels, but like I was saying, across the industry. Uh, we will uh, take a look at uh, what it takes to build a convention center. What does it take to uh, be a manager strategically planning for a relaunch of a hotel that might have been renovated? Uh, we'll be uh, taking a look at um, truly the hospitality um, inside rather the, than the outside that the customer sees. It's more the back of the house. Uh, what does it take to develop a team through human resource asset management and training? Um, we'll take a look at uh, CapEx development and that means capital expenditure for renovation or development programming. So what you're going to be learning are the nuts and bolts of really running a business, not just a hospitality business, but it is with a focus on that hospitality as your profession. You need to understand business fundamentals, and that's why we have in our business for that focus. You need to understand how to write and communicate properly. and um, the great thing about hospitality management across the different spectrum is you're going to come in contact with other businesses and you'll be able to talk their same language and understand and explain to them what you're looking for in a marketing program, uh, in a uh, budget and forecasting need, as well as uh, the understanding of how do you plan a convention? Not just how do you deliver a convention, but how do you plan a convention? It is a major project to uh, undertake a national convention, a state convention, or a local small convention. They're all difficult and they have, all have unique um, environments that you have to be aware of. How do you negotiate contracts? How do you read contracts? So there's a lot of focus on, yes, business, but it's hospitality understanding of the business. The program unity between business and hospitality, yes. that's what so many executives are excited about. Um, that's what's been really attracting uh, hospitality professionals to this program, and we're excited to welcome them. Yes. So let's turn our attention now and consider the admission requirements of the hospitality management program. Uh, Laura, would you look? Um, what do you look for to determine that an application is complete? So, hi, uh, this is Laura Sicar. I'm one of the admissions counselors. Just to, to recap, so um, our application process is actually quite easy. There's an online application, and it's uh, it's a pretty easy step. Once you fill out the application, the other piece that we need to complete your your file is official transcript. One of the things that uh, Merrill Hurst does is they, we order official transcripts for you. And the reason being is that, like I said, our, our students are, are often working adults. And really what they're looking for is like time and money and how we're going to be able to tell you um, how many credits are transferring over is if we get your official transcripts and get your file complete so that you'll get your full financial aid packet. Like this is how much it's going to cost you to come and this is how long it's going to take you. Your um, minimum GPA requirement is 2.25. I'm gonna also let you know that so many students have gone to school so long ago and things have changed. So when you're looking at that 2.25, let's say you're coming in with a 2.0, but your story has changed. 
Um, I always tell people that you know credit reports and transcripts don't always tell the story. So we um, also uh, would love to chat with you about your history and where you've been since you've been in school. But basically, your requirements are your application and your transcripts. And the last thing is that you need a minimum of 30 credits from a regionally accredited institution. Our students are um, transferring in many credits, and they are placed all over from whether the major, the general studies, and also the electives. Um, but if you do not have the 30 credits, we're going to go back and talk about that prior learning, and we can uh, address that as well. So we need 30 credits mm -hmm. uh, to be admitted. Mm -hmm. Do I need to have prior experience in hospitality to apply? That's a common question. When get no, you don't. You're actually going to learn about the hospitality management um, in the program. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Jackie, would you tell us what to expect when submitting an application? How does our system work? Our students often ask us that. Sure. So uh, we have an online secure application portal. So I want to highlight that you are putting your personal information in, and we do um, make sure that that is a secure area for you. And you can find that link through merrillhurst.edu slash apply. You will um, put in just your name and your program of interest and click submit on the short form. That will create an automatically generated email returning to you with your secure login um, credentials. And from there, you'll complete your profile and access your application. And what you'll find there is um, really just your academic history, and then you're ready to submit your application. Uh, Laura or I will email you a transcript release form, and we do need one of those for each school that you attended. Uh, the schools do require what they call a wet signature, so um, you have to print the form out, sign it actually with a pen, and um, then either scan it and email it back to us. You can take a JPEG and send it to us, as long as it's legible when we print it so that we can um, forward it on to the issuing school. It is up to the issuing school as to whether they will allow us to order that transcript. So um, we have found that there are some schools that have a policy that they require the actual student to order their transcript but we do at least make the first attempt for you and um, just know that if your issuing school does have a similar policy that we'll let you know and then you'll have to order that particular transcript yourself. But that's really it to your application. It's pretty quick, pretty simple, and Laura and I are both here to help with any questions along the way. It's convenient to start and stop as well. So once you start and get started, uh, we will save your progress and you can always come back and complete it at a time that's most convenient to you. That is correct. Great. Well, we know many of you joined the webinar today with questions about the hospitality management degree program already in mind. So we want to hear those from you today. Go ahead and type those questions into the comment box of this webinar and we'll do our best to address each of them. If you have specific questions relevant to your circumstance, go ahead and still enter them. We may not address them audibly for everyone uh, on today's webinar, but Jackie and Laura will follow up with you directly. So let's take a look at some of the questions coming in. All right. So, um, I'll ask this to all of you, um, John, Laura, and Jackie. If uh, someone still needs to fulfill a business class and they're local to Portland, can they take that course on campus, even though this is an online program? Yes, they can. They can take it off on campus. And, there's, and they can also go to community college, can they not? They can. Okay. They can. So understand that uh, if you do have community college um, credits, mm -hmm. but you are still missing something, like your writing, mm -hmm. you can take it at your community college and, and have it transferred over to Maryland. General electives are also commonly taken at community college. So when what um, Liz was saying about taking classes on campus, one of the 
the things that people love with our online program is that we have a brick and mortar school and our school is absolutely beautiful so some people opt to take classes here on campus and I always encourage people hey if you're not taking um, any face-to-face -face class classes you can still come on campus and hang out just because it's gorgeous that's a great environment yes it is and we'd love to see you we do indeed so it sounds like most people are pretty excited about the online modality. We have a question about that. Um, what uh, qualities would help a student be successful in this online program? Well, it's scheduling yourself to make sure that you do your studies. We will have discussion questions each week. And uh, the ability to articulate your thoughts, your questions in written format will be very helpful. Um, the most important thing is to understand that this is a, uh, a focused uh, five-week course, so uh, and it's they go in uh, 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 sequential order, so that you're not taking too many courses. Here you have two courses per semester, so it's a ten-week. Sorry, quarter. I'm sorry, per quarter. So you, you're taking uh, two courses, but only one at a time. So it's planning your time, making sure that you do apply yourself to do your reading, to answer the discussion questions, and then prepare for any homework that is required. And are there opportunities to connect with other students? Yes. Uh, we will, uh, especially in the introduction course, I'll have um, not a webinar, but a, a a web-based uh, interactive uh, presentation that I'll do once a week. We'll have uh, students who want to call in or participate uh, participate that way. You can also uh, get to know your other uh, cohort through uh, group uh, responsibilities where you'll have presentations and you'll work together with your other team members. It looks like there's one more question. Uh, is there a deadline to apply? Uh, so, there isn't a hard deadline. Um, we can make things happen pretty quickly, but with keeping financial aid in mind, um, we do suggest that students apply um, around the 1st of September just to give uh, time for transcripts to arrive, as well as our financial aid department to put together financial aid packages. But we encourage you to do it as quickly as possible. Yes. By now, our program is filling up quickly. Yes. Can I say something else about the about the time management? What I'm going to say that time management is a is something that you you want to own that. But what's beautiful about our program is that it's asynchronous. So because so many people are beautiful, uh, busy and they're working, you can you don't have to be online at a specific time. You can do it when the kids go to bed or you know when you first wake up in the morning and then like John said there might be some scheduled opportunities but for the most part um, if you're doing with your time management and you get your assignments in on time you can manage that time to work within your own schedule. And the great thing about those uh, web programs is they will be taped, they will be available to everybody in the class so if you can't attend you will at least gain the uh, information and uh, the interaction with your uh, cohort students. Looks like that's all of our questions for today. If you continue to think of additional questions, please feel free to email us. Um, here's a list of helpful resources uh, that you might consider as you apply to the Maryland Hospitality Management Program. This will be included in the webinar that you receive. And thank you. Um, sincerely, we appreciate the time you've spent with us this afternoon. Um, we look forward to learning about the experience that each of you have on the hospitality management industry and your goals and ambitions for the program. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. And um, I also want to thank John Erickson, um, Director of sure. the Hospitality Management Program, and Jackie Begaman and Laura Sapira, our admissions counselors, for joining us today. And I look forward to meeting all the students that start this fall. Yes, absolutely. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Thank you.